Move your feet, move your feet. Right there, that was what we want. One, two, three. Oh. Hey, this is Sloan Spurlock for Dragons TV, here with head wrestling coach Matt Azevedo. How are you doing? Good, good. So you guys started your season um, with a few tournaments. How was the performance? Uh, overall, the guys are wrestling, wrestling well, wrestling well. We're getting after it, um, winning a lot of matches, scoring a lot of bonus points, uh, getting a lot of pins, which is exciting for the crowd. Um, you know, we've, we've had a a few great individual performances, a couple guys uh, taking some championships home. Overall, it's been it's been really good. Had several other guys place at, at both tournaments. Um, it's just nice to have a lot of guys wrestling late into these tournaments and getting a lot of matches and getting a lot of experience because uh, that's really the most important thing here in the beginning of the year is just getting as much mat time as possible, and that's why we wrestle a lot of tournaments. You have a few freshman starters this season. How are they adjusting to collegiate wrestling? Uh, Overall, the freshmen are, are doing are doing good. They're they're battling. They're uh, they're out there fighting. Um, I, I think that they they believe that they can win, which is important. Uh, you know, we've got a, a, a true freshman at 125. We've got a couple true freshmen at 133, uh, and we've got another true freshman at 174. Connor Moran at 74, and uh, we've got Clay Lutzow, Jordan Hart, and uh, Jake Goodwin down at the lightweights. So between those guys. Uh, you know, I would say they're probably about 50-50 right now. They've probably won about half the matches, lost about half their matches. But um, they're battling in there, and I think every week they're getting better. So last season was your first season here at Drexel. What's different coming into this season than the previous? Uh, mostly, you know, just the, the, the guys being more familiar with our coaching staff. Um, uh, change is hard. Um, it's not always an easy transition with a new coaching staff and new expectations and new ways of running things but um, the guys know what's expected of them they know uh, what they need to be doing on a daily basis to have success in our program and um, it's it's a it's a lot easier it's a it's a sigh of relief you know last year it was like kind of hit the ground running get after it do as much as we can you know get the guys integrated in our system and it and it was I think as smooth as it could be, um, but this year you don't have to worry about that. Our guys know what we want to do. They know the plan. They know the path we're on, and it's just basically full steam ahead. So uh, that that part is, has been great, and uh, you know I, I couldn't be any happier with, with the returning guys, the freshmen. Everybody's transition has been great, and, and I think we're just going to continue to get better from, from here. So. so looking ahead, are there any matches that you're looking forward to? Yeah, definitely. You know, it's always exciting to have home dual meets. You know, you got the home crowd uh, out and cheering the guys on. And I know the guys love wrestling at home. And it's, it's pretty easy to get pumped up to wrestle at home. Uh, but, uh, yeah, you know, our, our opening weekend against VMI and Hofstra is going to be a great one. Got a bunch of great events scheduled for that weekend. And it'll be a couple good dual meets. Um, then later on down the road, we've got the Grapple to Garden, where uh, Drexel is going to be making history as being one of the teams that will be the first uh, collegiate wrestling teams to compete in Madison Square Garden ever. So pretty excited about that. Uh, and then we've got Iowa State and uh, North Carolina on the home schedule this year, which is huge for us to bring two big programs in like that. Uh, one, Iowa State being my alma mater. Uh, I'm excited to take on the Cyclones. And, yeah, and uh, get after those guys. Um, so that, that'll be fun. But uh, we've got a great home schedule. Uh, we've got, we're going to be challenged, you know, in, in every event that we compete in. So I think really looking forward to everything. You know, we're, we've got Cornell, We've got Columbia on the on the schedule, um, and then our, our CAA schools as well. A couple of them ranked in the top twenty five, and so it's it's going to be it's going to be a good a good schedule. And we're definitely going to see where we're at. Sounds great. Well, thank you very much for talking to us, and best of luck this season. Thank you. Hey, I'm here with Frank Samatos. He's a senior this year. What did you do to prepare for this season? This off season, just you know, kept training really hard. We had our coaches here year round, and uh, 
you know, we lifted a lot over the summer and wrestled a lot with the coaches, and it helped. So what's different coming into this season than your previous seasons? With our coaching staff now, we basically are more prepared, and we were able to work on the little things that, you know, you can't always do during the season. So you guys went out to California. Yep. How did the tournament go for you? Uh, I believe I wrestled all right. I took third. Um, you know, I think my performance could have been better. But overall, it was a fun trip. And uh, I think, you know, it's early in the season, which is good. A lot of room for improvement. While in California, did you do anything fun? Uh, we drove to Sequoia National Park and saw the biggest sequoia tree. It was fun. You know, it was snowing up there. We got to see a lot of California. You know, we're up in the mountains one day and then the next day we're out on the beach, you know, with our shirts off. It, it was it was definitely a fun trip. So every team has different personalities. What would you say your role is? Uh, I mean, I'm kind of like the leader on the team, I think, and, you know, on and off the mat. But then I'm also like a goofy guy. I think as our team, we're all crazy kids. And, uh, you know, I mean, if you see us around, we'll probably be doing something Goofy. Okay, so looking ahead, are there any particular matches that you're looking forward to? Every big match that I have is the one that I look forward to, where it's Cornell, Hofstra, especially the conference matches are going to be big for me this year. Do you think that this team can get you? Like, CAA to, yeah. I think we can, you know, if everybody wrestles up to their p potential and uh, we just stay focused all year round. I think we could we could definitely become CAA champs. Well, thank you very much for talking to us, and best of me. luck to you this year. Thank you. Hey, I'm here with Shane Benningham, a junior on the wrestling team. So, what did you do this off season to prepare for this upcoming season? Uh, I can honestly say that this off season was probably, you know, one of my best off seasons, um, especially as for the team as well. You know, uh, now in, with Coach Azevedo's second year here at Drexel, we kind of know what was expected from our part, and uh, you know, it kind of took the whole transition process out of it so that you know we could get kind of started right away. Being an upperclassman, was it hard to have a new coaching staff come in? Uh, I think last year, you know, it was kind of difficult for some guys, but. Um, I know this year, you know, we all feel, you know, pretty comfortable um, with our coaching staff. I know I feel like we completely trust our coaches in that we feel like we have the, the best coaching staff in the country. So what's different coming into this season than previous seasons? Um, well, I know this season we have a lot of, we had a great uh, recruiting class come in and our coaches did a, a fantastic job on that. And, uh, you know, I feel like as upperclassmen, it's, you know, kind of one of, one of my jobs to, uh, you know, kind of teach these kids the, the way we're about here at Drexel now. What was your favorite part about California? Uh, personally, my favorite part was Venice Beach. You know, I, I kind of got a little surfer in me, so I, I love the beach, and, uh, and that was awesome out there. Okay, so looking ahead, um, are there any particular matches you're looking forward to? Um, I mean, me personally, I love, uh, I love our home matches. You know, I love um, wrestling in front of you know, a good crowd of people, and uh, I think our home schedule this year is fantastic. You know, one of uh, probably one of the biggest nights I'm looking forward to is when we have Ohio State, Iowa State come in, and North Carolina. You know, those are tough teams, uh, big name programs, and you know, if we could battle against them, and uh, you know, we could probably make a name for ourselves. You know, if we wrestle tough against them. So, what are your personal goals for this season, and what do you hope for the team to accomplish? Um, as a team. I mean, I believe we could win the CAA this year. Um, I truly believe that we have a good team. You know, we have a lot of young guys, but, you know, these are talented, talented freshmen, you know. Uh, so once I feel like they start believing in themselves, you know, it's a long season. And uh, if we keep getting better as the season goes on, you know, I think we could accomplish great things. Well, thank you very much for talking with us. Good luck to you. Thank you. Thank you for having me.